Lord and one faith and one. And his Jesus is my all. One more time. Everybody, there's one Lord and one faith and. Oh, yes, there's one Lord and one faith and. I know there's one Lord and one faith and. And I'll tell it and I'll tell it everywhere. I'm going to tell it, tell it everywhere I go. I'm going to tell it, tell it everywhere I go. I'm going to tell it, tell it everywhere I go. I'm going to. His name is Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere I go, his name is Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere I go, his name is Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere I go, his name is Jesus everywhere. God bless you and welcome to another Call for Excellence ministry. We invite you to stay tuned for the next 28 minutes and allow God to speak to your very soul. God bless you. Would you stay with us as we receive now from our radio and television announcement the person of Sister Janelle Marshall. Let's receive her now with a hearty praise the Lord. Greetings and welcome to the Voice in the Wilderness broadcast emanating from Bethlehem Apostolic Temple located at 330 North Main Street in Wheeling, West Virginia and co-sponsored by Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly located at 3000 Weir Avenue in Weirton, West Virginia. These are the churches where the praises are going up and the blessings are coming down. We welcome you to join us each week. Our order of service is as follows. In Wheeling, we begin every Sunday with our Christian education classes at 9 a.m. Our morning worship begins at 1030 a.m. In Weirton, Christian education classes begin at 10.45 a.m. and morning worship begins at 12.30 p.m. We ask that you join us for our midweek Bible class where our pastor, District Elder D.W. Cummings, will be giving an inspiring lesson from the Word of God in Weirton on Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. and in Wheeling on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Come with your Bible question and receive your Bible answer. You can listen to the Voice in the Wilderness broadcast on WWVA 1170 a.m. on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. For more information on both ministries, you can visit our website at www.greaterloveministrieswv.org. Remember, you can also download our ministry app for iPhones and Android phones by going to your app store and searching Greater Love International. We will be continuing to celebrate our 86th church anniversary. Please join us Sunday, next Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. with our guest speaker. We will also be celebrating Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That would be September 26, 27, and 28 nightly with services beginning at 7.30 p.m. Please join us for this special celebration. The North Wheeling Community Youth Center will be sponsoring the Flight Squad versus the Ohio Valley All-Stars charity basketball game that will be held on October 7th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the McDonough Center Performance Center, Performance Gym, I'm sorry, at Wheeling Jesuit University. If you would like to purchase tickets, you can contact the church office. If you would like to make a donation or be a sponsor, you can also contact the church office. Our thought for this week, an unused life is an early death. The fool folds his hands and consumes his own flesh. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 5. Remember, you're welcome to any and all of our services. At this time, we would like for you to stand and greet our pastor, District Elder D.W. Cummings, as he leads us in the apostolic affirmation and the furtherance of the service. Let us put our hands together and give God praise as he comes. God bless you. Let's give that hand that really belongs. Give God a hand praise, if you will. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Repeat after me and say, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power. Someone ever say power to save those that believe. And I believe that Jesus saves and his blood washes wider than the snow. Let me tell you something else I believe. I believe God is good when and all the time, no matter what your problems are, no matter what you're going through, the God we serve is a good God, and he's worthy of all the praises, oh, for 10,000 tongues to tell the goodness of the Lord. 
in the land of the living. And because he is so good, we are convinced that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Come ye disconsolate, weary, and worn. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. There's nothing that can happen to you on earth that God can't help you with. Somebody say amen. And because of that, I'm going to ask as many of you will, if you go across the aisle and get your neighbor by the hand as we make a prayer chain all across this sanctuary. One of the singers could come back. We're going to go to God in prayer and sing, O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him, Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us Come, let us adore him. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. Yes, for he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. We give him all the glory. We give him all the glory. Help me say that. We give him all the glory. We give him all the glory. We're praying for those in North and South Carolina and other places that have been affected by the hurricane and the floods and we're praying for pastor Karen Garland and her family and the loss of her son and all those others who may have lost a loved one we're praying for you we want you to know that God cares about you we care about you and God's not through blessing you we're going to sing that song one more time and then we're going to go to God in prayer when we pray would you pray for the people whose hands you're holding the people you're standing near when we intercede for others that's when God intercedes for you amen help me sing it one more time oh come let us oh come let us oh come let us Let every heart pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for just being in your house one more time. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. We intercede right now, Lord God, for those who've lost a loved one, Lord. Comfort the hearts of those that mourn. We may not understand. We may not see. We may not agree, Lord God, but we trust you even when we can't trace you, Lord God. Even when we don't understand, we walk by faith and not by sight. It's not what we see that keeps us in the house of God. It's what we believe. We believe you're a good God. We believe you'll never put more on us than what we can bear. We believe that with every trial you make a way of escape that we might be able to bear. Now, Lord God, we pray that you intercede for those in the Carolinas and others that may be affected by the hurricane, Lord God. Bring them out, Lord God. Deliver, 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 Lord God. Show your hand, Lord God. Let it not be as bad as they thought it would, Lord. Lord God, we'll praise you for that. We'll say God turned it around. God made a way. God opened the door. God brought them out. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, we would have never made it. But we thank you, Lord God. Now, Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do today, Lord, in this service, Lord. Show your hand, Lord. Show your hand, Lord. Send your word, Lord. Send your word, Lord. Deliver, 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 Lord. Do what only a God can do. Heal bodies, Lord. Heal hearts. Heal minds. Heal spirits, Lord. In Jesus' name. Can you drop the hands and begin to clap your hands and say, in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. As you go back to your seat, shake somebody's hand. Give somebody a hug. Tell them God is a good God. Yes, he is. God bless you. 
You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. Well, it's you can't make me doubt him. In my heart, in my heart. Well, it's for I. Well, it's you can't make me doubt him. I said that you can't make me doubt him. No, no, you can't. You can't make me doubt him. In my heart, in my heart. Well, it's. For I know too much about him. Well, it's. Oh, yes, it. You can't make me doubt him. No, no, you can't. Well, it's. You can't make me doubt him. In my heart, in my heart. Well, it's. You can't. For I know. Well, it's. You can't make me doubt him. In my heart. Well, I'm going on with Jesus. Well, I'm going on with. Well, I'm going on with Jesus in my heart, in my heart. Well, I'm going on with Jesus. Well, I'm going on with Jesus. One more time. Well, if you can't make me doubt him, no, no. No, 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 you can't make me doubt him. In my heart, in my heart. Well, if you can't for I know too much about him. Well, it's. Just clap your hands a minute. Let's take it home. Well, if you can't make me doubt him, no, no, you can't make me. No, no, you can't make me doubt him in my heart. In my heart, well, as you can, for I know too much about him. Well, as you can, make me doubt him. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you would turn with me this morning to the book of Proverbs, the 21st chapter. Uh, thank you, singers. And uh, we're going to be reading verses 30 and 31. Proverbs, the 21st chapter. Verses 30 and 31. Those who are able, I'm going to ask that you would, if you would stand as we give honor to the word of God. Or to someone around you doesn't have a Bible, or I'm going to ask if you would, if you would share yours with them. Proverbs 21, verses 30 and 31. If you have it, say, I got it. All right. If you got it, let's read it together. What does it say? There is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. And we're understanding safety to mean victory. Victory is of the Lord, that I made it safe. I want to speak to you for a few moments from the subject the principles of victorious faith. Somebody shout, I got, I got it. The principles of victorious faith, I got it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now that you send your word, send your unction, send your anointing, touch this body, these lips of clay, that we speak your words and your words alone. Call someone to leave, delivered today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody say, do it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Before you sit down, can you say this affirmation with me? Say, this is my Bible. I can have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do. Every promise in the word of God can come true in my life. This morning, I will receive revelation knowledge, revelation understanding, and my life will never be the same Again, in Jesus' name. When you sit down, give God your best hallelujah. The principles of victorious faith. Somebody shout, I got it. I want to uh, help us to mediate and meditate on what it takes to have victory in our life here in the book.
book of Proverbs, the 21st chapter and the 31st verse, he says, safety or victory is of the Lord. Uh, we must do work as hard as we can as if everything was dependent on us. But then we must live knowing everything depends on God. Uh, you, we must understand that where the mind goes, the body will follow. Uh, we must allow God to first give us victory in our mind before we can have victory in our life. Uh, he tells us in Proverbs 23 and verse 7, uh, For as a man thinketh in his heart, uh, so is he. Somebody say amen. Uh, so we have good news for everyone today. Uh, you can change your life uh, by letting the word of God change your thinking. Uh, you can change your life uh, by letting the word of God change your thinking. Uh, maybe that's what he meant in Romans 12 and 2. Uh, when he said, be not conformed to this world, uh, but be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Uh, that you might prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Uh, so I congratulate you for being here or watching or listening today. Uh, for allow the word of God to touch the way you think. Uh, I think one of the wonderful things about God uh, is God doesn't just give you a dream. Uh, he gives you the faith and the word uh, to help you achieve it. Uh, that's what he meant in Hebrews 11 and 1 when he said, Now, somebody say now. Uh, now faith is the substance of things hoped for uh, and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, faith confirms. Uh, that what you don't see but what you believe for uh, is already yours. Uh, someone put it like this. Uh, faith is the title deed to the property you don't own yet. Uh, faith is the proof uh, for what God promised but you cannot see. Uh, faith turns hope into facts, uh, even though it cannot be confirmed with the human senses. Uh, you've got to know by faith uh, that your worst day with Jesus uh, will always be better than your best day without him. Uh, that's why he told us in Psalms 84, for a day in your courts uh, is better than a thousand elsewhere. Uh, we've got to know that God is the one who gives us the faith uh, to reach victory in every part of our life. Clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Victory, safety uh, is of the Lord. Uh, and then Paul adds this in the New Testament in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter and verse 14. Uh, he says, thanks be unto God. God, uh, who always, somebody say always, uh, you hold on long enough, who always gives us the victory uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the victory of our God uh, has not been uh, 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 announced in person, uh, but it is available for every person uh, who uses the simple Principles of faith. Uh, uh, what are those principles? Uh, first, we must 
believe. Uh, he that cometh to God must first believe that he is uh, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently receive him. Uh, that's the second principle. Uh, we must receive it in faith. Uh, we may not see it with our natural eye, but by faith it's already ours. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we must be willing to achieve it. Uh, achieve it in faith. Uh, let me put some meat on that skeleton. Uh, the appeal of the whole gospel uh, is found in Acts the 16th chapter and verse 31. Uh, that's where he says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and you shall be saved. Uh, now remember the word saved uh, <laughs> means delivered. Uh, so believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and you can be delivered. Uh, I want you to catch it. Believe on, uh, not just believe in, uh, but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, what's the difference uh, to believing on uh, versus believing in? Uh, to believe in Christ uh, means you are convinced that there was a historical figure uh, by the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I believe he was born, that he did exist, uh, that there was somebody who went to a cross uh, by the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, but to believe on uh, means that I believe more than he's an ordinary teacher uh, or he's an ordinary man. Uh, but what what he did 2,000 years ago, uh, he can still do it today. Uh, I still believe he's a healer. Uh, I still believe he's a way maker. Uh, I still believe he's the savior of the world. Oh, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Uh, are you prepared uh, to believe on him? and not just in him. Uh, believe on the Son of God. Uh, why? Well, John tells us why. Uh, in 1 John, the third chapter and verse 8, uh, he says, believe on him uh, so that he might destroy uh, the works of the devil. Uh, what are the works of the devil? Uh, sickness and poverty and addiction uh, hallelujah to God uh, are just some of the things uh, that the devil is doing in our world and in our community uh, we need to believe on Jesus uh, because he's the only hope uh, that we have somebody say amen uh, the only hope this world has is Jesus. Uh, our hope is not in President Obama. Uh, our hope is not in President Trump. Uh, our hope is not in the government. Uh, but the only hope we have uh, is in Jesus. Uh, if you believe it, put your hands on it and say, I know that's right. Uh, remember, that it is the Lord Jesus uh, who is truly our victor uh, by virtue of his incarnation. Uh, he was born so he could give you victory. Uh, he went to the cross so he could give you victory. Uh, he got up three days later so he could give you victory. Uh, he ever lived to intercede for you uh, so he can get you victory. Uh, he's coming back again uh, to give you victory. Uh, I want you to understand uh, God wants you to have more than an intellectual belief uh, that in your mind that he existed. Uh, he wants you to have an experiential knowledge uh, that I know him 
for myself. Uh, isn't that what Paul said in Philippians 3 and 10? Uh, that I may know him. Uh, it's one thing to have heard uh, that he's a healer, uh, but it's another thing uh, that say when the doctors gave up on me, uh, Jesus walked in uh, and I don't believe he's a healer. Uh, I know he's one uh, because I have experienced it uh, and he made a way for me. Do I have any believers in the house? Uh, God wants everyone uh, to have an experiential knowledge uh, of what he can do. Uh, you apprehend it with your mind, uh, but you appropriate it with your heart. Uh, your mind says it's possible, uh, but it is in your emotions, in your heart, uh, that you make that truth a reality. Uh, so you move on from believing uh, to receiving. Uh, and that's where he speaks to us in John, the first chapter and verse 12. Uh, listen to the words of the writer. Uh, as many as receive him uh, to them uh, gave he the power uh, to become the sons of God uh, even to those who believe uh, in his name. Uh, there are many people who believe in him that don't believe on him. Uh, and because they don't believe on him, they cannot receive him. Uh, and because they don't receive him, they don't have the power that comes from him. Uh, because they don't believe in his name. Uh, but I come to tell somebody uh, there's still power in the name of Jesus. Uh, there's still deliverance in the name of Jesus. Uh, I still believe uh, that demons tremble uh, at the very sound of his name. Uh, somebody help me make some demons mad. Uh, open up your mouth and just say Jesus. Uh, when you say Jesus, uh, demons come to attention. Uh, when you say demons, uh, sickness looks up. Uh, when you say de Jesus, uh, a Addiction has got to be arrested. Uh, I come to let somebody know uh, that the name of the Lord uh, is still a strong tower uh, where the righteous uh, can run in and be saved. Somebody clap and say, Jesus. Uh, understand uh, to receive Christ into your heart uh, to receive Christ into your life uh, is to know that you got victory uh, on the inside uh, no matter what it looks like on the outside uh, I've got victory on the inside uh, and that's what John meant uh, when he said in 1 John the 4th chapter and the 4th verse uh, that it is greater is he uh, that is in you uh, than he that's in the world uh, you've got to know even when tears uh, are coming down your eyes uh, you're not hoping for the victory uh, you already got the victory uh, cause the victorious one uh, is on the inside of you uh, and as long as I got Jesus, I, I know I can make it. I, I've received his power into my life. I, so it goes from believing I, to receiving I, to achieving. I. That's what he meant in 1 John, I, the 5th chapter and the 4th verse, uh, he said this is the victory uh, that overcometh our world, uh, even our 
church faith. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, the difference between success and failure in God uh, is your faith in God. Uh, sometimes the difference uh, between holding on and letting go uh, is your faith in God. Uh, that's why Paul picked it up in 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, uh, and the 12th verse, uh, and he said, fight uh, the good fight of faith. Uh, the devil's coming after your faith. Uh, the devil wants to make you think uh, that God's not going to help you, uh, that there's no hope for you. Uh, the reason so many have committed suicide uh, is because they lost their faith. Uh, but the sad thing is uh, there are people who are alive uh, who have never taken a gun or a knife or a poison, uh, but they are committing slow suicide. Uh, Every time they put a drug in their body uh, that is an ungodly drug, uh, trying to self-medicate, uh, make themselves feel better, uh, it's a slow suicide. Uh, every time they get drunk, uh, trying to self-medicate, uh, it's a slow suicide. Uh, the devil has convinced them that the only way they can feel better is I got to put this in my vein. I got to put this in my mouth. I got to hop from bed to bed. But I come to let somebody know, hold on to your faith. Don't give up on God. Because God hasn't given up on you. Hop your head and shout hallelujah. Uh, the Lord Jesus uh, has not promised victory uh, for us simply uh, to enjoy it in our personal living. Uh, but he's made victory possible uh, in order that we might move forward uh, and celebrate the victory uh, that comes from living for God. Uh, ours is the glorious task, uh, not only to claim victory for ourselves, uh, but to plant the flag of victory uh, in other people's lives uh, and witness to them uh, that if he did it for us, uh, he can do it for you. Uh, and thus we come to the revelation uh, we're not fighting for victory uh, because the victory was already won uh, at Calvary's cross uh, we fight from victory uh, by trusting Christ uh, to mediate in us and through us uh, and manifest his glorious life uh, through victory on this earth. Uh, we've got to understand uh, that God has already set us up. Uh, tell somebody it's already yours. Uh, a teacher was teaching his students, uh, a science teacher. Uh, he was doing an experience, exper experience, experience, oh Lord. Uh, that's what you said. Uh, he was doing one of those, uh, and it failed. Uh, and then he told the students, uh, it didn't really fail. Uh, we just discovered something, a new beginning. Uh, I come to let you know, I don't know uh, whether that experiment failed or not. Uh, but what I do know uh, is God never fails. Uh, God will never let you down. Uh. Somebody said he may not come when you want him, uh, but he's always on time. Uh. You've got to know God's setting you up uh, to take you to another level. Uh. I tried to tell you this last week uh, that God wants you to know uh, this is not the end of you. Uh. He told Peter, uh, hallelujah, he says, Satan desires 
desires to have you and sift you like wheat. Wheat and tear grow up together. But when they separate it, the tear goes up in the air with the wheat. But the wheat is so heavy, it comes back to the ground. But the tear is so flighty that the wind blows it away. God told me to tell somebody he's about ready to blow away some people in your life because only trash blows in the wind. He's going to blow them out of your life because they don't fit uh, where you're going. Uh, you're going to another level. Uh, another level of worship. Uh, another level of prayer. Uh, another level of deliverance. Uh, so, so long and goodbye. Uh, but as long as I hold on to God, uh, I know I'll be alright. Uh, because victory, uh, I got it. Uh, I got it in Jesus Christ. Your hand and shout hallelujah. I want to tell somebody, hold on to God like you never held on before. Your destiny is about ready to crash into your present. You're getting ready to step into something bigger than you've ever seen before. You can't keep doing what you used to do. You can't keep going where you used to go. You can't keep hanging with who you used to hang with. Uh -huh. Now is the time uh -huh. to raise your praise. Uh -huh. Now is the time uh -huh. to go back to fasting. Uh -huh. Now is the time uh -huh. to go back to prayer. Uh -huh. Now is the time uh -huh. to go back to Bible study. Uh -huh. Now is the time uh -huh. to go back to giving. Uh -huh. Because God is trying to get your mind together uh -huh. to change your life. Uh -huh. More than it's ever been changed before. He's going to change your clothes. He's going to change the way you think. He's going to change the way you talk. So God told me to tell somebody, get rid of the old stuff. And get ready for a new beginning in God. Because victory, I got it. If you got it, clap your head and say, Yes, I got it. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I want to tell somebody, in the next 30 days, look for God to take you to another level. The devil's done all he can to stop you, but God told the devil, let him go, let my people go, that's enough, it's time for their victory. Tell somebody, ding dong, uh -huh. the witch is dead, uh -huh. ding dong, uh -huh. Jesus died at Calvary, uh -huh. ding dong, uh -huh. three days later he got up again, uh -huh. ding dong, uh -huh. he said all power uh -huh. in the heaven and earth uh -huh. is in my hand, uh -huh. so ding dong, uh -huh. now I can be delivered, uh -huh. now I can be set free, uh -huh. Now I can be healed. Uh -huh. Now I can be prosperous. Uh -huh. The curse is dead. Uh -huh. I've got victory uh -huh. in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. You've got to know uh -huh. overnight uh -huh. God can make you uh -huh. an overnight success. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Overnight uh -huh. all your bills can be paid. Uh -huh. Overnight uh -huh. he can heal your body. Overnight, you can be delivered. And the things I used to do, I don't do no more. Because I got the victory. I'm not going down. I'm going up. I'm stronger than I've ever been before. I don't know who I'm talking to. But at least one or two of you, he told me to tell you, this is your season. This is your time. As long as you hold on to your praise, ding dong, the witch is dead, 
Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Let everyone stand. I'm not through, but I'll quit. You got to have a praise. Hallelujah. That the devil's not in charge in my life. That the word of God is what I live by. Somebody say amen. amen. With all the things that are going wrong, God is still alive and well. Somebody shout hallelujah. And he's living in the Ohio Valley. He's living all over the world. And he's here to work a miracle in your life. You must first believe it is possible. Somebody's saying, I don't even believe it's possible. Well, it's not possible for you. Because you don't believe. But if thou canst believe, all things. Somebody have me say all things. All things. Are then you must receive it. You must receive. God, I believe you're talking to me. I believe you want to make a change in my life. I believe that you want to do something great in my life. That you're not through bless. How many of you know God's not through blessing you yet? And then you must be willing to achieve. You must go after it. You can believe God's going to give you a job all you want, but if you never go out for the interview, you're not going to get it. Oh, come on, somebody. You must go after it. You must have a spirit of expectation that God is able to do just what he said. Somebody say amen. You must know that the worst is over, but the best is still yet to come. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that you would give us that victorious faith. The faith to know that you're taking us somewhere. That we're not just on a life or train to nowhere, but you've got us with a destiny somewhere. Lord, that you have a plan for our life. Lord, your plans are good and not of evil to give us an expected end. So by faith, we claim it right now. We claim household salvation. Save the whole house, Lord. Save the mother, the father, the sister, the brother. Save the whole house, Jesus. Lord God, we claim revival, Lord. Revival in the church, Lord, revival in the community, yeah. revival in our house. Yeah. Lord God, we claim salvation, Lord, for our minds, our souls, our very being. And Lord, every need that we have, you're able to meet it. You're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can even ask or think. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you believe God can give you victory, take the next 30 seconds and give God praise in advance.